Hey everyone, it's up North Collectors here. We are opening up two of these $5 hanger boxes from Ooh. Walgreens. I know you guys are probably opening up Topps Pristine or you're opening up Prism Basketball or Prism Football, but we're opening up $5 boxes from Walgreens. Ooh. Who knows what we're going to find in these. This um, is a high stakes unboxing. Yeah, people do find actually really good cards in here. Although they're few and far between, but it's always fun to open one of these up for five bucks. Yes, this thing feels much lighter than the baseball, and I was picking both of them up just for fun. Which is weird. Yes. I mean, you're guaranteed, not guaranteed, one in every four boxes of football has a hit. It doesn't even say what you get, though. It no, just says it doesn't say. You get, I don't know. But here it says, look for randomly inserted cards, packs, parallels, autographs, and more. One in four contain a hit. Collector's Edge. We got a first edition collegiate collection pack here, guys. So we're going to go ahead and open this up. Some Notre Dame. I already have someone in shop that would love some of these Notre Dame cards. So that's who these will be going to. These things are weird. All of the old Notre Dame players. Georgia Ball. Interesting. All right. And into the real main attraction, the random cards in here. I do see some, like, 14 Bowman, but it looks like mostly 90s. So some Men of Autumn from Pinnacle. Sage. There's a Traylon Burks and a Desmond Ritter. Could be worse. Daniels, Dustin Crum, Chris Ottman Bell, Malik Willis. Kind of cool. Spencer Rattler. Not bad. Traylon Burks again. And... Guy McIntyre and Jack Trudeau. And this is actually halfway decent. Christian Jones. I believe that's just Chris Jones now. Um, but yeah, maybe it's, yeah, maybe it's so. a different person, Who but I'm pretty that? sure that Who is. Who is that charger? Uh, Mark C.A. Oh, yeah, yeah. I remember him. It's kind of cool. Charles Woodson from Prestige. That's going to be earlier. That's a second year Charles Woodson. That's not bad. That's crazy, yeah. John Randall, that's pretty cool too. John Randall's a beast back in the day. Eric Moulds, okay. And some more Stadium Club. There's a million of these. Dexter. Eric, Eric Moulds came right after, um, oh, what's his name? Actually, really cool looking. Chris Carter. Who was the Vikings wide receiver with Jim Kelly? I'm drawing a complete blank. Yep, that guy. Oh, Andre Reed. Yep, there you go. And. JC Peters. So that one had like basically all 90s stuff in it. 93, a little bit of earlier in Sage, but interesting. I would say that you don't get your $5 back out of that one, but it's not the worst thing you can open no. for five bucks either. Uh, yeah, so definitely if you've Let's opened up one. one of these in uh, the last couple weeks, because these have the fresh new collector's edge design. Uh, drop a comment below. What did you get out of your football box? We'd love to hear from you. This is the baseball box. Obviously, the odds to contain er, that contain a hit. One in every eight contain a hit. Um, same sort of thing. Look for randomly inserted stuff. Um, if you go there, always check the bottom of these things because if they've been tampered with, people will look in the bottom because it's a lot easier. The top is glued really good. So if people want to see what's like inside, they will do that. Just and buyer beware. Ooh, I see a pack. Ooh. Oh, and we got 87, 87. cards. So look at this. A little perspective from a now card shop owner here. Uh, I have a lot of people bring me stuff to look at. A lot. And uh, I would say, I don't know. That's what, 88? Is it 88? Yep. Uh, I would say that 95% is all from 1986 to 1994, with the heaviest years being <clears throat> usually 91 and 92. Um, but in other occasions, it's 88 and 89. It just depends. Uh, but that's what you get, like, constantly. I do like the look of the set. They're pretty cool. The 88 um, Don Russ. It is sort of heartbreaking to tell some people that their stuff that they thought was worth tons of money is worth absolutely nothing. Yeah, you have to remember, back when I was a kid in the 80s and then, you know, going into high school years in the 90s, everybody thought they were sitting on a gold mine with their baseball cards. They're not, in fact. Yeah, so, I don't know, that's a pretty fun pack. I like that one. Yeah. 88. They actually pulled some pretty good names out of there. All right, let's see here what we got. Um, Oof, some heat. Ooh, I see some. That's a good year of tops again. 
Just yeah. put those over. You got it. There you go. All right. And you just have to go card by card, but on my back. L Lighter. That's not a bad name, actually. McCann and... Rookie. Rookie. Oof. There he That's is. Broadway. Lance Broadway. Bobby Abreu. Bobby Abreu. And, and dang. Double action. Double. Wow. Oof. Danny Darwin. This is, uh, what, 89, right? 89, yeah. I see Jeffries. I've actually, I have a wax box of 89 tops out, and a lot of people are buying packs of those for 50 cents. It's yep. very popular. It is popular. People just like to do it just for fun, just to rip a cheap pack, bring them back to their uh, early years of collecting. 1990, there's a Dot Gooden. Kind of cool. That's a 92,000 tops. Yeah, I was going to say 99, but 2,000. Keith Hernandez, Ron Kittle. This guy always wore these sweet glasses. Um, and Billy Hatcher. Is that 2006? This, no, 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 no. no. What? Not, not that one. No, this one? No, yes. Yep. Look. No, I don't think uh, so. Oh, 2007. One year off. One year off. Mark Grace. That's an old uh, 80, that's 89. Yeah. Uh, some reason I thought that was older. The yeah. Fleer design was always kind of interesting back in the yeah, day. Because Griffey has an 89 Fleer, and people bring in the Griffey's, Griffey rookies, you know, thinking that they have a yeah, very right, expensive card. Right. Because you know, if it's not the star rookie, I mean, it still is like a $5 card. But I love 87 Donruss. 87 Donruss. That's Barry Bonds is in there, isn't he? Yep. That's the first Bonds. Darnell Coles was a big prospect at one time. There he is, Rick Honeycutt. Oh, there he is, Kurt Gibson. That's eight. This is eighty-seven, isn't it? Yeah, eighty-seven. 87. Fleer, I love this set. Eighty-seven Fleer. Um, definitely that Kurt Gibson is sweet. That made my day right there. Uh, Andy Van Slyke, yeah, there's a whole bunch of it. Danny Tartable, he was a big uh, prospect too. Football is a, a better value than by far. And Kevin Seitzer, yeah. So, yeah, the football definitely because some of those, that era of foil, that and those football cards, the pack of that football box is awful. But baseball cards, they can throw so much junk wax stuff in there. And they can too with football, but they made way more baseball than football, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, um, until you get into, at least from what I've seen, my personal experience, until you get into the early 90s. In the right, 80s, there's right. my, late 80s, there's yeah. way more baseball than yeah. football and basketball being produced. That's why, like, 88 uh, Fleer and 87 Fleer have some value. Right. Um, whereas, like, your, uh, let's say, 1990, early 90s football and basketball cards, like, 92, 93, like, upper deck and that kind of stuff with Shaq's rookie, that is, like... I see so much of that stuff, it's not even funny. Yeah, so then they just else. started to run the They presses. just ran the press. The same thing with football. In early 90s. But baseball is the same. You know, it's all right. the same, but it's it just kind of equals yeah. out a little bit more. And before that, you don't really see a ton of 88, 89 football. No. Or basketball. No. no. But you do see a ton of 88, 89 baseball. But then when you get into 90, you start seeing the football. Yeah, it's kind of a, yeah, it's kind of wash then. Yeah, that's kind yeah. of a turning point. Well, guys, let us know what you think of these boxes. I mean, for five bucks, I mean, yeah, well, you can't expect much. Uh, it is fun to see what's in them. We only bought two, total of ten dollars. And now you know. Um, but you know, hey, it's still fun to see what they put in these things. And you never know. Sometimes they do put in really good packs, um, and sometimes not so much. Um, anyways, this was a not so much pack, uh, and the baseball definitely junk wax. Football. Eh, a little bit better. Let us know what you think. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do. We're getting close to 20,000. Um, I think we're about 19.6 right now. So only a few away. And we'll be doing some giveaways. So stay tuned for that. Um, and also uh, hit that like button. And once again, comment below. Thanks, guys. Hopefully you're doing well. Uh, we will be breaking more product soon. We're we're itching for some really good new releases that come out that are at decent horrendous, value. Actually. This month is really tough. We might do a box of pristine. Um, yeah. But it might not be right away. The right. pre-order price is crazy. So. We're kind of waiting for it to drop. I think three fifty right now is about the going rate on it. So we're going to see if it drops. Yeah, it will. Yeah. It already has, actually. All right. Well, thanks again for watching, guys. Please like, comment, and subscribe. We'll see you soon.